Hello? Oh, there we go. Oh, fun. Turn down volumes. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> All right. Uh, today was crazy. I just got back in. I had to run some errands. I have things to do tomorrow. Everything just went blah. So. Blah! Wow, that's weird. Hold on. Let me, uh... Can you all hear me? Is everything still there? I have... I still have, uh... The Kakikoro sub thing here, I am assuming. Let me turn it on Twitch here. We are streaming, right? Why do I have Solomon Blair? I'm on Pixelogic, right? I mean, this is streaming on Pixelogic, correct? Can someone give me a thing here? Why is this being... Oh, there we go. All right. We're back on. Everything's fine. Sorry, I have weird things going on over here. I was confused. Okay. Woo! Hi, Pixelogic! <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Alright. I still have the wrong subtitle, or the wrong menu thing. Whatever. I'm here. You can hear me. That's all good. Alright. So... Let's see what we got. Do we have anything that we can start on and do... No, we'll just go from nothing. No, not open file. Those light blocks. Okay. Brush, my brush, stroke, you plug it. All right, what time is it? Hey, hey, how are we doing today? Awesome. Well, welcome to Pixelogic stream. We're going to do some jewelry tonight. I have to redo my little screen here. I had to run an errand and traffic was miserable and I just raced in. I was just like, <laughs> Alright, so let me make sure everything else is in the right place. Yeah. So my brush, brush, and some awesome sauce. Alright, we're just going to start from Ringmaster. We're going to grab a stone. Do we want stones? Maybe, oh, I know. No, I have four millimeter and six millimeter eyes coming in. All right, we'll do a stone. Okay, we'll just start with Ringmaster. We'll make it size seven. Uh, and let's turn stones around. Let's do an eight millimeter. Uh, create base ring mesh. How are we doing tonight? And then we will do. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to go through some basics of um, making a ring. Because uh, I didn't have anything else. Man, this is all good. Feel free to ask any questions during the process. I'm always here to help, you know, try to answer questions and the such as well. Go to Z modeling. We're gonna give this thing a bigger gallery than normal, I think. 
Så ska vi. Ja, marker in. X and Z is X. Oh, our dynamics are all turned on. So there's this little script. Dynamic off. So I did. You have to wait because it goes through and turns dynamic off of all the brushes. And then adds these little Z sphere things. I don't know what that's about. How is everyone doing this evening? Everything good? This will just take a minute. All right. We've been looking at a lot of jewelry. Just got our samples in for our earrings. Mm -hmm. Focusing on that at all. Yay. So that's good. Things are going forward. <laughs> that that's early. I appreciate it. You're like I'm always showing up when you leave. So these little points are actually where we're going to want those to wind up. We're not going to worry about that at the moment. We're just going to get a base shape in here. We need um, a foundation for our little girdle. That'll be there. Get a little thickness. And I'm not worried about placement a lot right now. We're just going to... We're just blocking stuff in. I do think let's just give it a little thickness where we think we might want it. Let's give ourselves a little bit geo here so this isn't dramatically less geometry than the rest. And let us do. Yeah. Knock these out a little. Oh. Oh, I must have touched the. That's. Hey, hey, hey. Knock some of this out. Come on, go out. There we go. And I'm just trying to figure out some, um, get rid of that so as we move things around up here, we aren't dragging it around on the base. Let's hide our stone for a second and just come up with a nice shape up here. I find that um, open that up. Oop. All this is going to change shape dramatically when we start um, um, dividing it, but I just want. So, where's our girdle? Yeah, just. Make these a little straight out. Oh. XYZ infinite. And that'll move them all roughly. Sometimes when you try to bridge that stuff, it's a little squirrely. So you just get the faces pointing towards one another again, and it should look up. There we go. Like I said, right now we're not being too careful. This is just getting stuff in. See how they miss? It's just easy to come in and kind of get them roughly square to one another and that'll make them there we go those snap together and let's slide those out a little 
just so our um, geometry is a little more. When you're doing your base block up from um, uh, the Z modeler, I find that you want to try to keep all of your geometry roughly um, similar, right? Hey, hey, how's it going? So, as oh, we want edge loop complete, move these out, kind of move these out, just so trying to keep our block sizes roughly the same. The slide. Oh, what just happened there? Yeah. Here we just want edge and we're going to drop. Change the shape of that. And let's bridge something so we have. I like the way that um, I'll delete. Because I like the way that uh, two whole bridges better than um, than just edging. So good edge. Go to bridge. Stop that. No, we want two holes. There we go. That's what I want. And we are going to make this arc some line. Well, let's make it spline. And just tap it here, tap it here, and you can change the angle and the numeric content by sliding. I want a slightly and a nice romantic curve there. Oh, that's not nice and romantic, though, is it? We'll redo that. Look at it from all sides when you do that. <laughs> Can't lift your style. There we go. All right, that gives us something to work with, and we're going to fill this up just so it's not. Oops, QMath. That'll transition a little better. We're going to Dynamesh. All right, interesting shape. Show you a part. Hey, hey, how we doing, my dear? And here we're going to do a few big moves. Um, you want to mask your center off. Uh, or you can delete that subgroup, but it's easy to just mask. Mask circle. Where is our mask circle? Boop. There we go. Mask your inside edge so you're not changing your ring size. You feeling the romance? It's there, isn't it? It's pretty sexy. And then we'll just kind of. We just want a nice curve here. And that'll be fine. I don't know if we're C, we have that. All right, Control W, get it all the same color. There we go. Go back to Mask Pen, and let's start dividing this bad boy up. So here, I know I always say this, but here you will see the major difference in how I go about doing things. I like to start at high resolution with clay tubes with a lot of subdivision levels and it allows us to, um, oh yeah, you haven't seen the craft, <laughs> hold on. Uh, one second, I made a crab uh, book um, card holder for acquaintance of mine. And I think it's here. Oh, it's in Photoshop. 
It's one of these. Oh, oh, there we go. It is. This is lamps, rocking chair. There it is. So that's the crab card holder. Uh, I can show you the model in a minute if you all want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> I don't have one, do I? <laughs> I know. I I know, I'm trying, I swear, I try. Well, what's, have you not seen the crab at all? Uh, the, there's a skull on the back. Okay, hold on, guys. I gotta show Ash the crab while she's here, because she so rarely joins me, so I need to uh, show her. <laughs> here, we'll just save this. We'll come right back to this. Um, go. My Hamlet monkey. All right, here we go. I think this. Oh, it's I actually. <laughs> uh, here, I'll email them to me. Um, I actually. Uh, I just gave it to my friend who does professional um, restoration of frames and stuff, and she's going to gold gold leaf it for me but she's going to do water leafing and it's going to be really pretty um well i'll i'll get i think the it should be done by mid next week so the next time i'm up i'll show it to you hold on this should come there you go so this was the shape of her business cards and so i made uh a skull crab. I made the skull crab a while ago and I've kind of redid it or went back over it for the smaller print. So there's the skull. There's a little thing. Crab. He's actually really cute. He has good attitude kind of peeking around, you know, the card holder. And um, printed him. You know, he's pretty substantial. <laughs> I can send you one. <laughs> yeah, so that's my uh, my my skull crab card holder. That's what I was working on this week, or one of the things I was working on this week. I've been doing a lot of rendering actually, but uh, nothing exciting. Yeah, but that I think it turned out pretty good, right? And what's funny is she just opened her store. And her cards were sitting on the counter, you know, just sitting on the counter. And she's, she sells stuff. Um, um, the place is called Kratura House. And she sells, like, all kinds of flocked little things and art. And, yeah, so hopefully uh, hopefully she'll dig it. But, yeah, so that's that's the crab card holder. And then I'm also printing out... Uh, Hamlet monkey, my little space monkey sticking his tongue out at the skull, sort of a play on Horatio. It's Sergeant Alsmith, and Alsmith was. That's what I figured. And after the gold leaf, I mean, she does water leafing, so all the detail will be there and she'll burnish it so these will be bright, and then the stuff behind it will be almost matte, so you'll get that con. It won't just be bright. You know, it'll be bright on the tops, and then, uh, uh, yeah, so, yeah. And it actually, it printed perfectly. One print, no parts, 29 hours on the Form 2. And um, it took me an hour the other night when, uh, <laughs> on, in, uh, on my channel, I was finishing this up, and then I was also supporting it and of course i had to come in here and support each one of those little points it took me like an hour or something to support it um yeah it's it i have big models i see you do too 
how many sub tools are on the 165 million total? Unfortunately, I have things that are 100 million poly sub tools. It's just, I'm stupid. I don't know how to be conservative <laughs> with my polygons. Um, and here, well, here, I'll just show you this one too. Because once again, Ash is here. She doesn't get to see this stuff. So we're going to quickly show her this. So there he is. Uh, turn transparency. So see, it's Sergeant Amleth, and Amleth was who they think uh, Hamlet was taken from. And you know Horatio, I knew him well. So this is a monkey in a spacesuit sticking his tongue out at at uh, at the. Hamlet, and down here it says, where is it? It says, Denmark Public Works, 1599. You know, 1599 is roughly uh, when Hamlet was supposed to happen. But here, Ash, I hope you appreciate this. So his little things. So he's a, with the rockers, he's a bunnery sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that was funny. That's that's pretty good humor. Not a gunnery sergeant, he's a bunnery sergeant. Okay. You don't find my humor. <laughs> but yeah, he's all padded up inside there. This is really cat clown astronaut's uh astronaut suit, but I had to do my Hamlet sort of heh. <laughs> See who made it to space, monkey. So I was working on him too. You see this guy? My clappy monkeys. <laughs> yeah. He has little plaid pants on. Little moons. And just a bunch of weird shit I make. Alright. Alright. So now let's go back to a ring that hasn't gotten anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you know, these are fun. It's just goofy fun. I like making just kind of dumb stuff. There's the rocking chair and the lamp, but I imagine everyone's seen all that crap. That's that's from what? R... I think it's R6 or R7. Well, it's, R6 didn't have Z Modeler, did it? So... That was from R7's beta. Nope. Yeah, we got... <laughs> I, I never work in perspective. I only work in ortho. I, um... I mean... I measure things. So... The concept of trying to do things in perspective. I don't know. I, th I just think the perspective, I mean, I guess you can go in and set a more naturalistic, um, a more naturalistic, uh, like camera angle or whatever, but I, yeah, no, I have no interest in seeing what a computer tells me my perspective is. It's fake. It's not real information. You know, at least this is real information. You just have to remember that you are orthographic, you know what I mean? Um, just, just be careful. I mean, it's dramatic, but I don't want drama. I need information, you know. So no, I, I will almost never have perspective on. And so now we're just going to try to figure out what's going on here, right? So, as you all can see, and this is why everyone says, "Oh, you must." You must do everything low res because as you come in here in high res, you can see these are artifacts that are very hard to get rid of. Um, yeah, I, I just, I'm working. I'm not trying to sell a render at that point. You know, I want to, like when I go like this, I want to know what it looks like from the side. And I just find... 
I mean, my brain translates 3D well, so I don't need perspective to pretend to tell me what it's looking like, if that makes any sense. Um, and so, yeah. So, and I almost always use clay tubes only because... And because of what I did here, I know I'm going to have to Dynamesh at some point or Z remesh one way or the other. But right now, I don't care because I'm trying to find the vocabulary of the piece, right? So I'm not too stressed about this stuff. And once again, that's super simple as long as you keep your um, subdivision levels to come back in and you can knock that artifacting out in a heartbeat it's no drama right and so like i know i wanted that fill i come in here and we'll just move this out smooth it move it out smooth it there we go let's kind of fill it back in and we're off to the races again just come back in the key is is as you climb it tries to remember geometry so whenever you do big removal of your kind of weird surface artist artifacting just smooth it every time you do it the other thing is i use smooth stronger um i want my smooth to actually accomplish something and since i work at much higher resolutions that smooth um that move that, <laughs> that move nah, 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 that smooth stronger helps actually make that an effective tool um, come on Ooh. crab <laughs> what in the boy that was weird photoshop decided it was important all of a sudden all right Hmm. How weird do we want to be tonight? And actually, that's my problem. I just rebooted, so I don't have my brushes preset. I need to come back in and redo my brush presets. My they're all just a little off. Whenever you change, because these are really my R7 presets that I've only changed a little, and I really need to go back in and retie everything to R8. I've just been busy, busy, busy. Okay, I'm completely underwhelmed with where we're going. Hmm, what are we going to do here? Not very compelling. Mm. Let's do move. You can do it. These will eventually become round, so we don't want to wonk with that too much. That's a little bit more interesting. Now, the nice thing um, is so you just do radial and two count and you sort of get bypass geometry and it lets you um, kind of make a bypass ring, which if you set down here and you're transforming, you're like, oh, I want to do mirror X and Z, but I'm trying to mirror it. And now it has to be rotation. That's the only way to get uh, Yeah.
Yeah, no, I no, I can see that. I, I mean, like in if you're doing, um, like you said, faces and stuff like that, I can see where perspective would be very helpful. But for most, for most of the jewelry stuff, you know, you're just not. I don't find the information any more helpful than otherwise, if that makes any sense. I don't. I just. I find that it actually bothers me more. Why is that not cutting that? Am I missing something? Uh, okay. Well, we won't do that then, will we? I love it when things just don't work for me. Okay, here we'll mask it. Okay, now, oh, 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 oh. What it is. Symmetry gets weird sometimes. There we go. Turn the symmetry back on. I'm not saying that there's not a use for the perspective by any means. I just find that in jewelry, because really, in some ways, you are approaching it CAD-wise in the sense of it has to be certain proportions X, Y, and Z. It has to have blah, 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 blah. Um, I find perspective causes more trouble than not. Uh, and here we're going to fill this in so it sits on the fingers. Um, and you can see I'm not paying too much attention to the internal ring mandrel. We'll, um, we can mandrel, mandrel that later. I'm just trying to develop a flow, get a vocabulary, because we're starting from absolutely nothing. So it's not like I had a story here. So we're trying to find a story. And um, so I'm not worried about, uh, not worried about. My ring, my making sure my sizing's right. I know that we start it with the correct size, so um, we're in the ballpark, you know. Thicken our prongs up. It's good to do this now, or as you're working, just so you don't wind up with these little needle prongs because you've made everything else super thin and you're like, oh, I got prongs. Right now, I'm just getting things up to thicknesses that I like. Close. Let's just bring them flayed in. And get our stuff fat. Alright. Up. Right here. And you want these to be in line with that and roughly half on, half off is a good solid prong. Because remember, they're going to be cutting these bad boys into this. You're not going to worry about that. Add a hold. Now we'll just move stuff out. No, I do find that like if I'm sculpting characters or things like that, I will every once in a while hop over to perspective. But for things like this, in some ways it's, you know, it is glorified CAD in the sense of, um, you know, I might not, you can see how this gives you a distortion. Hold on, let's show our part, right? You know, and as you move around, it rocks, and you can see it in and that. But, you know, I'm looking for measurements, scales, relative thicknesses and stuff, and this will make this appear thicker. And if you're working in that, you're not going to be able to wrap your head around the actual scale of the object. Or at least I find that um, 
it's easy to forget that it's there so you will make judgments off of it it's why i i don't really like um <clears throat> any of the things that are fake um like uh the what do you call it oh, he's, and paul hates me for this come on like dynamic subdivision a lot of people use the dynamic subdivision it keeps your models low poly and then you can convert it but i find that it's not it's not there it's not real and so you can forget what you're doing in the process and it's become smoother now from when it first started and when i developed that opinion but i still find that i just want to be able to use my subdivisions actual subdivisions have the actual geometry i know where i'm at in my process of building and i don't have to stress about oh is that working oh is that working oh you know i just i prefer to actually know where i'm at's where i'm at this is actually the thickness of that you know and i just find it to be a little more consistent in the process and so let's go to z plugin there's decimation master let's take this this point six we can go lower than that we will go point point ooh, we don't need two point point oh but still put an extra point in there didn't i enter and a mesh and we'll just take this low and even that's honestly a little high i would have preferred to go let's go point oh oh five uh, okay or point one <laughs> um and this is fine and so now we kind of rough that in i mangled this a lot and that's why we jump the dynamesh straight away but i still want the same concepting behind how i'm creating the part right so it's important to go dynamesh to because i had no detail in here to defend right there was nothing i was trying to save so we're going to go okay all this a little lumpy okay why don't we make this just a much more dramatic of a bypass? I'm gonna lower that so. And let us this in. We'll keep that forward. We'll just keep this going just a touch. All right. It's a little bit more kinetic and interesting. All right. The only thing you have to watch out for when you do stuff like this, when you get sort of broader, is just make sure that there's enough meat here that as the ring sits on the finger, one, it doesn't rock. <laughs> All right, so that looks okay. Here, we're just gonna append a cylinder. Actually, you know what? No, we'll do it right. Sorry, I'm like, oh, I'll just make this happen. We'll do it right. We're just gonna delete that. Okay, so you come back into Ringmaster, and here. Mandrel processes. More options. All right, Mandrel processes. Hmm. 
There used to be... Hmm. Okay, well that's... There used to be a way to get a mandrel out of that. Oh well. It's okay. It used to... Oh, did I just... What did I do? Right, you're going away. Boy. Oh, there's the mandrel. <laughs> so I did ditch my stone. I was like, it used to give you a mandrel. Oh, there's the mandrel. And I deleted my stone. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, add gems to the tool. Yeah, up here. So when you do the ringmaster, it gives you a mandrel, and so that is the um, ID of the ring or the OD of the ring size. Um, flip it, right, and that shows you where you are off. So right now we're fine. I mean, if you're really into it, you project, and it'll suck all of it to it. But, it, I mean, we were really close. There's just some lumps in here that made me think we were farther off than that. So we're going to do that. Well, Ash, when I reestablished this silhouettes for the uh, exquisite corpse, and I set them up there so you can work on them at any time. We don't have to do them live. If you don't partake, I'm going to hunt you down and poke you in your eye. Like, poke. Okay, so now we'll divide this up. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. All right. We'll go down lower res because we don't need to be at 22 million yet, but five's just fine. That's move. That is not clay two. And so now we sort of have the going on. You got a puppy. Awesome sauce. What kind? <laughs> oh, awesome. Cried with joy, you and your corgi. So why I went to this part first is this was an uncomfortable intersection, right? I'd thrown that in there with the other style. And um, now I'm like, okay, well... The problem with that is this is an uncomfortable or an unnatural sort of intersection. So try to solve the problem or, well, it's not a problem, just the design issue. And then uh, that can be a foundation for what else is going on out here. So once again, we're just trying to discover the flavor and the flow of the part. I want to see pictures. Are they in? Uh, are they in Discord? Uh, that's kind of giving us a flow.
So you can see, I'm basically doing what everyone does in low poly in a high poly format because once again, in all reality, we're dealing with much smaller scale objects. Hey, hey, how's it going? Um, and so in turn, when I come in and I start to lay some of these style lines in, style lines in, I don't have to redo them. They're going to be there. And that's why I do this, at this block of stuff in higher res than most, because I know that the model can be any size, but when you're thinking of the model in relative scale, let's say when someone's doing a monster, let's say, but you can be really rough because if you think about it, a brush stroke on the body, you know, can be like this big and you can get all your rough shapes in there. But it's trickier when you're trying to get very small shapes in and retain them as you go along.